What's up? This is Ovi Gilberto and welcome to Ovi Gilberto Bass Channel as usual. Okay, today's lesson is a question of mine. Do you really know? Do you know how to name your bass part? So you may say this is really not necessary. Let's see. Pick up your bass and we get started. And remember to subscribe, like and comment if this really your very, very, very first time. This is a story I really want to narrate to, to you guys shortly. So I was in a saloon and some guy comes up with argument about Arsenal and Man U. And I'm actually an Arsenal supporter. So some Arsenal guy was busy having a quarrelsome conversation with the Man U as supporter. And this supporter didn't know even the names of the players of Man U. And even not knowing even the first team members. So the guy puts like 50,000 shilling note on the table and said, I don't think you really even know your team. So uh, if you really know, can you mention me the first 11 team of Manchester City, my Manchester United? And the guy couldn't even mention four people. And the guy say, you're just nothing in the team. You don't know what you're supporting. That really clicked into, your, into my mind. I'm like, do you? We really need to know what we support. We really need to know what we do. So if I'm a bass player, do I really know how to name the parts? So pick your bass and we discuss and we see. OK, so this is it. This is a bass. My bass is a uh, five-string bass, Korean handmade bass, Neof company. So um, very beautiful in color, as you can see. But the most important thing, do I really know how to name it? <laughs> That's a question. Okay, let's see. The first thing is that some things here, I'm going to leave it to you as I homework and you give me the answers in the comment section. So the first question I'm going to give all of you is that, when was the electric bass guitar first invented and who invented it? So I want to know whether you're really following me. Give me the answers in the comment section and I'll be very glad to hear from you. Yeah. When was the first electric bass guitar invented and who invented it? Yeah, and the person who invented it, just that's all, okay? Okay, now, back to the point. So, I'm going to start by a little bit naming these lower parts, the higher parts here, or lower parts. So this is called the bridge. All the bass guitars have it. It's the bridge, it can be any color. So, and then these are pickups, these two. But this is called a bridge pickup, or you can call it backward pickup. This is called neck pickup, or you can call it forward pickup. That's that. These five tones, these are called volume control tones, or you can call it anything you want. There can be seven, there can be as many, depending on the make of the bass. So this small button I have is either for active or passive. So when it's up, it's, it's, it's uh, act passive down, it's active, that's it. And uh, these two are kind of humbug. They can either make the bass very loud in sound strong or intermediate, depends on which style you're playing, how heavy you want the bass to sound, that's what will happen there. And uh, this point here, where we have the quarter inch going in, is called a jackpot where you put your pin or the quarter inch is a jackpot. And then uh, a homework here to leave for you is that, how do we call this? How do we call this down? I need the answer. Where you put the strap. So the question is, how do we call? Where we put the strap on the bass guitar? What is the name? It's here and it's also here. So give me the answer the comment section. Now, another thing is this, this kind of beautiful uh, carpentry work is called the body. 
This is the body, you know. This is the body. The body. Good. Now, we, we are going up now. Now, let's talk about this. These are strings. These are strings. It can be four string, five string, six string, seven string, eight, etc. Depends on what you want. And then we have this metallic bars going up, you know. These metallic bars, these are called frets. And now, the space in between every fret is called a fingerboard, where you put your fingers to play, you know. That's fingerboard. Okay, let's see. Here we're coming. Now, how do we call this, this long tail here? This is called now the fretboard, you know? This is the fretboard. Some people call it the neck. This is the fretboard. Good. How do we call this metallic thing? Here is metallic, it can be plastic, any color. This is called a nut, and it helps to keep the string tension strong at this point, like the attacking point. The very, very, this is called the zero fret level. Okay, how do you call this black things here? It can be white, it can be anything. These are tuners or pegs. This, they keep, they help to tune the strings in the right uh, tone and pitch. Okay, how do you call this, the whole of this content? This is called the head, the bass guitar head. Okay, now, I don't know whether I have one more homework for you here. I need to remember whether I have it. I need to remember. So that is, the homework is that there's a hole here which all of you can see. Some git bass guitars have it here, some have it here. This point here. Now, I want you to tell me why is this hole there and what is inside this hole. That's all I want to know. Why is this hole there and what is inside that hole? So that's all. So you see, the question is, do you know how to name your bass guitar? <laughs> I have tried. So let me know your mind in the comment section. And I hope you'll have fun this lesson, you know. And uh, just have a blessed day. See you next week in more lessons. God bless you. Bye-bye.